When we are talking about celebrities, all we can think about is how famous and rich and perfect life they're living. While almost all celebrities are famous, there are many celebs who are not living the luxurious life they pretend to live and are burning through their millions and have gone completely broke. A lot of celebrities on our list will surprise you because some of them lost money in ways no one can even imagine. In this video, we'll look at the celebs who lost millions of dollars and ended up completely broke. Number 10, Nicolas Cage. Between 1996 and 2011, Nicolas Cage earned more than $150 million. Of course, he made his money by being one of Hollywood's highest earning actors and starring in iconic films such as Con Air, Face Off, and Ghost Rider. But despite earning so much money, he ended up in debt because of spending enormous amounts of his fortune on insane things. According to Forbes, he was one of the highest paid actors in the industry. Some sources say he allegedly earned $40 million in 2009 alone. And that's a lot of money. Nicolas Cage spent so much money by the time he was in his mid-40s, he is now 58 by the way, that he put the king of Arabia to shame. While he blamed his money manager for sending him down a path toward financial ruin, others say it was his crazy personal spending. When looking at his purchases during that time, some definitely are worse than others. Cage allegedly surpassed Leonardo DiCaprio and bought a 67 million year old Tarbosaurus dinosaur skull for $300,000. The Ross Gellers of this world would be truly fascinated by this, but most most people would prefer spending such a large amount of cash on a Rolls Royce or something, probably a little more useful. The actor also bought an 11th century Bavarian castle in Etzelwang, Germany for $8 million and a 40-acre island south of Nassau for $7 million, which is surprisingly less expensive than the castle. This is not the most surprising part. The actor was said to own more than 15 residencies along with a beach home in California. From Lamborghini and Ferrazzi Enzo to nine Rolls Royces and animals like sharks, octopuses, and crocodiles as pets, the actor spent his fortune on things that cannot even be counted on the fingers. But the eccentric actor didn't hold on to his fortune for long. He went broke, faced foreclosure on several properties, and owed the IRS $6.3 million in property taxes. Luckily, his fame helped him repay his debt and come out of the financial crisis. Think this is the most bizarre way someone can lose their money? Wait till you find out about number one, who lost his $300 million fortune just to buy the most useless thing you can think of. Number nine, Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter, the younger brother of Backstreet Boy Nick Carter, began his career as a pop and hip-hop artist in the late 1990s. With the help of his four studio albums, he became famous among teenagers in the early years of the new millennium, and he claimed that he earned more than $200 million long before he was 18. Well, that's pretty impressive, but sadly, it didn't stick for long. In 2013, Aaron was flooded with taxes and owed twice as much money as he had, so he was left with the ultimate choice of filing for bankruptcy. He apparently owed $3.5 million with $8,000 in assets. Nope, Aaron didn't have insane spending habits. When he was younger, his parents were responsible for managing his finances, but they did a pretty disastrous job, and because of their poor financial decisions, Aaron ended up in so much debt. While he cleared most of his debt in 2014, he is still unable to reach the net worth he had before getting involved in all this financial mess. Number 8. Nelly at the start of 2000, there were not many rappers and pop artists more prominent and famous than Nelly. Nelly was referred to as one of the biggest stars of the new millennium, and he won the Grammy four times. The savvy rapper had the world dancing to his beautiful voice as he came up with his two most successful and acclaimed albums, Country Grammar and Nellyville. His 2002 album, Nellyville, reached number one on the US Billboard 200 chart and sold an extraordinary 714,000 copies in its first week of its release. His fame was insane, and he was earning a great deal of money, but the hip-hop artist failed to pay taxes on his earnings. Nelly reportedly owed the IRS almost $2 million in back taxes in addition to $149,511 in unpaid state taxes in 2016. He had so many unpaid taxes that the feds could have even started seizing assets and property soon, so it was time for him to pay up. As said before, Nelly was a famous man with a huge fan following, so his fans came forward to help the rapper in the time of crisis, and just by streaming his songs, they were able to gather a good amount of money to make a dent on the total he owed. Nelly cooperated with the authorities and started paying the money he owed, and that's how his financial dilemma came to an end. Number 7. Stephen Baldwin Despite being famous for starring in The Usual Suspects and The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas, Stephen Baldwin is widely known for being the father-in-law of the sensational singer Justin Bieber. Even with all the money floating around in the family, Stephen had to file for bankruptcy in 2009 because he owed about $1.2 million on two mortgages on the New York property and more than $1 million in taxes and credit card debt. It was a wise choice considering
considering the actor owed more than $2.3 million and owned just a New York property valued at only $1.1 million. When Stephen was brought in on the charges of not paying off his taxes, he adopted the stance of using his celebrity status to amplify the message that not paying state taxes would not be tolerated at any cost. Baldwin relocated to a modest Queens apartment and gradually paid off his tax burden just before his daughter Haley Baldwin got engaged to Justin Bieber. It took almost 10 years for the actor to pay all his debt. Number 6. Tony Braxton The queen of R&B, Tony Michelle Braxton, is an American singer, lyricist, pianist, musician, film star, TV celebrity, record producer, and humanitarian who has won six Grammy Awards and seven American Music Awards and is the best-selling female artist of the 1990s. Braxton released back-to-back -back albums and singles, including Love Should Have Brought You Home, Breathe Again, and You Mean the World to Me, that went on to sell millions of copies. While her success was a big achievement, it also meant a lot of money was coming in with her fame. But to your surprise, Braxton is the only one on our list who has declared bankruptcy not once, but twice. The first time Tony filed for bankruptcy was because of her feud with her record company for ending the contract early. But there is more to this story. In an interview, Tony claimed that she spent a wild amount of money on pretty surprising stuff, kitchen items and other household stuff, which begs the question of how many pretty plates and cups you have to buy to burn through millions of dollars. Well, Tony recovered from this financial blow because of her music, but sadly she ended up in the same financial hole in 2008 when she failed to go on a tour to Las Vegas because of health issues and ended up losing millions of dollars. Fortunately, the singer was able to deal with her bankruptcy and resolve the financial crisis she was in. Number 5. 50 Cent The American rapper 50 Cent is known for his impact on the hip-hop industry. He has been described as a master of the nuanced art of lyrical brevity, adding weight even to the simplest bars. For someone who was the pin-up hip-hop star of the 2000s with hits like Candy Shop and In The Club, and who also amassed tens of millions dollars investment portfolio, bankruptcy was a big blow. It all started when 50 Cent posted the S-tape of the ex-girlfriend of Rick Ross, Lestonia Leviston, and she sued him for putting such a private thing to the public. 50 Cent was declared to pay $7 million to her for his action. Along with a legal battle, Cent also lost almost $10 million in business investments, and he owed money to people like his stylist and fitness coach. He ended up filing for bankruptcy and suffered a great loss, but he was able to get himself on his feet. He is now again a multimillionaire, but his net worth is nowhere near $150 million. Stick along because we are soon going to look at number one, a celebrity whose bankruptcy story will definitely leave you speechless. Number four, Kim Bassinger. Bassinger rose to prominence in the 1983 film Never Say Never Again, opposite Sean Connery as Bond girl Domino Pitacci, and went on to receive a Golden Globe nomination for her role as Memo Paris in The Natural. She is one of the most famous people to exist on the planet, but even with all her beauty and charm, she lacked one thing, the ability to invest reasonably. In 1989, Kim bought the town of Brazelton, Georgia for $20 million to turn it into a tourist attraction. You would have guessed by now that this venture didn't succeed, and she had to sell all the property. When she was amidst the financial crisis at the same time, she was involved in a lawsuit because she allegedly agreed to play the lead role in Boxing Helena, but she refused to act on the verbal agreement primarily because of the changes made in the script by Jennifer Lynch. Passenger said the changes made the movie bad TV and she didn't want to be a part of it because it was not something she agreed on. We can agree with Bassinger on this if you have watched the movie, but the point here is that she was sued for $8.1 million. Some sources say that the judge took pity on her and she only had to pay $3.8 million, but it didn't save her from bankruptcy. Number 3. Fat Joe Rapper Fat Joe, real name Joseph Antonio Cartagena, has ruled the music world for years with his collaborative projects and solo career. His record label Terror Squad has released a number of hit songs, including Lean Back. Fat Joe has made a name for himself in a competitive industry and gained widespread popularity in the hip-hop world. However, he ran into financial troubles, much to his surprise, years ago. When the money started rolling in, he began pampering himself and his entire Terror Squad crew. He was making so much money that he literally went to the bank every day to withdraw $50,000 in cash. But one day, everything flipped and the fun part of his life came to an end. Fat Joe pleaded guilty to tax evasion in 2012 and allegedly owned over $3 million to the government. He spent four months in prison for the crime. He did a lot of charity work to reduce his sentence, but had to go into the slimer. His family suffered the consequences of his sentence, and his six-year-old daughter had to go through emotional torture because her friends made fun of her father going to jail. Fat Joe not only paid the debt back to his society, but also started advocating how young singers should avoid spending a hefty amount of their money on jewelry and private jets like he did. The man really turned his life around after the financial mess. 
Number two, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson, the American model, television personality, and businesswoman, is the one trend that never gets out of fashion. Dickinson was dubbed the first official supermodel after she coined the term during an interview. Dickinson may be best known to younger generations as one of the original judges on America's Next Top Model, but it doesn't change the fact that she ran out of money and filed for bankruptcy in 2013. The model revealed that she had only $19,000 in assets, while she owed almost a million dollars, half of which were back taxes. According to some sources, she struck a deal with City National Bank, according to which she would not pay the whole amount because of her age, lack of assets, and lack of income, but would pay one-third of the total. Number one, Mike Tyson. And finally, here we are at the number one spot on our list. Mike Tyson, the American boxer, was the youngest heavyweight champion in history and earned approximately $300 million from his historic run, which included victories over Trevor Burbick, Larry Holmes, and Michael Spinks. Tyson is considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. Things started to go down for the renowned boxer when he was arrested for the assault of 18-year-old Desiree Washington in an Indianapolis hotel room. After spending around three years in the slammer, the boxer came out and started spending money on the most bizarre things. He was a careless spender who frequently bought expensive houses, cars, and big wild animals. Mike spent $4.5 million on cars and motorbikes, $400,000 on pigeons and a variety of big cats such as Siberian tigers, $300,000 on lawn care and garden maintenance alone, and $240,000 per month for walking around money that he spent on daily life flexing, and the list goes on and on. He even bought a gold bathtub for $2 million, quickly burning through millions of dollars. In 2003, the famous boxer had to file for bankruptcy as he claimed he owed $23 million, including $52,000 in unpaid child support. Maybe next time he'll think twice before spending on Siberian tigers and gold bathtubs.